It was day four of the Kansas City Chiefs training camp out on the campus of Missouri Western where the team finished its last practice without pads ahead of Friday. Wednesday's practice saw no Xavier Worthy as he's still out battling a sickness. As for wide receiver Justin Watson, he had to leave practice early after suffering a foot injury in seven on seven drills and cornerback Nazi Johnson also left practice with a knee injury. With the Chiefs off on Thursday, let's see how the competition is heating up at camp. The Kansas City Chiefs obtained some speedy weapons for the offense in the offseason, hoping to erase the offensive woes of last year, becoming more consistent for the team to rely on. One of those weapons, six-year veteran Marquise Hollywood Brown, is joining the Chiefs after three years with Lamar Jackson in Baltimore and two seasons with the Arizona Cardinals. Despite being the new guy, he's already gained the respect of offensive coordinator Matt Nagy. When he runs routes downfield, being able to track the football with Patrick, but then also not make the same mistake twice. He's, he's, uh, he's really in good mental shape, physical shape, all of that right now. It's not just Nagy's attention that was caught, but the entire receiver room has latched onto the newcomer's leadership and skill. Really just come in and show the guys that if I could come in and I could be on top of things and I just got here, uh, it pushes everyone else uh, you know, to be better and it raised the competition in the room. Speaking of new weapons, the Chiefs drafted offensive lineman Kingsley Suamataia this year and Wanye Morris the year prior. The biggest question for the offensive line falls on the left tackle position where these two are getting a healthy dose of training camp competition as both have rotated with the first team offense. The, the competition is healthy. They're going to get plenty of reps um, and they know it's going to be a, a focal point for us this year. But being able to kind of understand what to do in protections, what to do in the run game, match it up with who you are as a player bring out your strengths, and then compete against each other. However, it's not always about new, as the Chiefs have on their roster former first-round pick Kadarius Toney. The raw athleticism is there, and the nation has caught glimpses of what he can do once the ball is in his hands. The Chiefs want to utilize his 4.38 40-yard dash and elite ability to cut on a dime, so they placed him in running back drills. The biggest thing right now with KT is just us being able to, to use his strengths. He's super talented. He can do a lot of things. We did some last year with him, and I think he's a, he's a weapon when you use him that way and, and being able to bounce him around in different spots. And it's not just the offense that has spots up for competition, as the defense is looking to replace the cornerback spot left by Legereus Need. I'm approaching it like I want it. Um, you know, I'm sure they do too. They're great athletes. They're great competitors. They're all professional. And, uh, you know, I'm sure we're all attacking the same way, but 100% uh, I want it. I'm going to do everything I need to do to uh, step into there and uh, continue competing. 